Uh, hello, uh, today's topic is uh, adult brain tumor. Uh, but before starting the topic, I would like to request you to subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Uh, the brain is a soft mass of uh, tissue that has three major parts. Uh, number one is uh, cerebrum, uh, number two cerebellum, and the brain stem. So all of these uh, are effectively surrounded and protected by the bones of the skull. Now the brain is the tissue that controls people's voluntary and involuntary actions, uh, that is uh, uh, bodily functions, thoughts and sensations. Cancer is uh, the unregulated growth of abnormal cells in the body. Uh, malignant uh, brain tumors contain cancer cells. Uh, uh, benign brain tumors do not contain cancer cells. Uh, but they do contain abnormally growing and dividing cells that do not uh, metastase, uh, that means uh, spread to other organs, uh, but may still cause problems uh, and often because of their size and uh, are regulated to grow in the specific area. Now, the primary brain tumors are composed of abnormal types of brain cells, which uh, uh, I mean. Uh, uh, with unregulated growth, the most common type of uh, 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 these kind of uh, the cells is uh, termed as uh, uh, gliomas that arise from brain uh, glial cells. Uh, but there are many other types. Uh, for example, uh, astrocytomas or uh, uh, ependymomas and uh, medulloblastomas and uh, uh, oligodendrogliomas. So these are different types of the uh, tumors. So secondary brain tumors are uh, the tumors uh, comprised of uh, cells from other organs where cancers have started and uh, then spread through the bloodstream to the brain tissue. Uh, the exact cause of the brain tumors is unknown. Uh, however, people are uh, high risk uh, for them are like children and elderly white males, people with the family mem uh, members that have brain tumors, uh, radiation exposure or exposure to many different type of uh, chemicals. Uh, symptoms of the brain tumors, uh, uh, many of which are non-specific and uh, occur in other diseases. Uh, so these may include like uh, headaches, uh, nausea, vomiting, uh, speech, uh, hearing and uh, vision changes, uh, memory problems, uh, personality changes and uh, uh, paresthesias. Uh, paresthesias is a, an abnormal sensation of the skin such as uh, numbness, uh, tingling, uh, prickling, uh, burning or creeping on the skin and uh, that has no uh, objective cause you know. So the brain tumors are diagnosed primarily uh, by many methods including like detailed physical examination, CT or MRI scans. Uh, angiograms, uh, x-rays, uh, definitive diagnosis is by removing tissue from the tumor uh, which is known as biopsy and examining the cell under the microscope. Uh, the treatment choices uh, for the brain tumors uh, depends on the uh, joint decisions made by the patient and the patient's physician's team and the team may include like uh, oncologists, uh, neurosurgeons and other patients uh, uh, by nominated by the patient's uh, uh, family, you know, or including other doctors, uh, and that may include your family doctor, you know. Uh, the treatment methods are based on the individual's disease and uh, uh, may consist of uh, surgery, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, and or combination of uh, uh, two or more uh, treatment options, you know. Uh, the side effects of the treatments are common and uh, numerous but uh, vary from patient to patient depending on the disease, uh, method of the treatment uh, and effect effectiveness of the uh, medications and other methods uh, uh, to reduce them. Uh, some of the most common side effects are weakness, nausea, edema, skin changes, hair loss but many include more serious problems such as uh, infections, uh, seizures, disabilities such as speech problems or mental changes and occasionally. Uh, death. So rehabilitation is uh, frequently included in the treatment plan. So specialists like physical, occupational and speech therapists uh, uh, can help the patient to improve the quality of life. Uh, sports groups are also uh, play important role in the patient's recovery. Um, so the best thing is that uh, you should join any local groups uh, uh, who are the group of people who has suffered from the same uh, medical condition 
so this way you can experience uh, you can share your experience with them and uh, you might benefit from the their experiences and uh, thank you very much for watching this video and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos thank you goodbye